स्थापकाय च धर्म से सर्वधर्म स्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठाय रामकृष्णा ते नम यथाग्निर्दाहिका शक्ति रामकृष्णे स्थिताद्यादा प्रणमाम्यहम नम श्रेयतिराजाय विवेकानंदसूर सच्चिस्वूपाय स्वामीने तापहारिणे अखंडमंडलाकार व्या चराचर तत्पद दर्शित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम तस्म श्रीगुरव नम Let us spend few minutes in silence and meditation. <clears throat> Slow breathing, peaceful breathing. माता च पिताम बंधुश्च सखा विद्याद्रविणमेव मम देवेव कायेन वाचा मनसेन्द्रियर्वा बुद्ध्यात्मना वा प्रकृते स्वभा कौमि यदल परस्म नारायणाए समर्पयामि श्रीरामकृष्णाएति समर्पयामि थिंक ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण सीटेड इन योर हार्ट ऑन ए लोटस ऑफ ट्वेल्व पेटल्स मेंटली ऑफ फॉर योर सैल्यूटेशंस टू द ऑल परवेडिंग ब्लिसफुल स्पिरिट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण और योर इष्ट देवता हृदय कमल मध्ये राजित निर्विकल सद सद किल भेदातीत प्रकृति विकृतिशून्य निनंदमूर्ति विमल परमहंस रामकृष्ण भजा मेडिटेट ऑन श्रीरामकृष्ण दि परमहंस हु ईज विताउट एनी स्टेन हु ईज निनंदमूर्ति Visualize the presence of the Divine Mother Durga, the blissful Mother Sharada, in your heart. Mentally offer your namaskaram again and again on this auspicious day.
ಸರ್ವಮಂಗಳಮಾಂಗಲ್ಯ ಶಿವೇ ಸರ್ವಾಥಸಾಧಿಕೆ ಶರಣ್ಯೇ ತ್ರಯಂಬಕೆ ಗೌರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಸ್ಥಿತಿವಿನಾಶಾಂ ಶಕ್ತಿಭೂತೆ ಸನಾತನಿ ಗುಣಾಶ್ರಯ ಗುಣಮಯ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಶರಣಾಗತದೀನಾಪರಾಯಣೆ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯಾರ್ತಿಹರೇ ದೇವಿ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು selfless universal prayer please repeat sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramayah sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kaschid dukkha bhag bhavet ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಮೃತಂಗಮಯ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಮೆಂಟಲಿ ಆಫ್ ಯೋರ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಟು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಾ ಶಾರದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಹವ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆಡ್ may they inspire us with love for the truth let us offer salutations shastanga pranam to the divine blissful mother in the form of durga ಸಂಗಸ್ತೋತ್ರಂ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಸಂಗಚ್ಛಧ್ವ ಸಂವದ್ವ ಸಂವೋ ಮನಸಿ ಜಾನತ ದೇವಾಗೈ ಯೂರ್ವೇ ಸಂಜಾನಾಪಾಸತೆ ಮೇ ಯು ಮೂವ್ ಇನ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಏನ್ಷಿಯನ್ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಶೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಮಾನೋ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸಮಿತಿ ಸಮೀ ಸಮಾನ ಮನ ಸಹ ಚಿತ್ತ ಸಮಾನ ಮಂತ್ರ ಅಭಿಮಂತ್ರ ಸೋ ಅವಿಷಾಜುಹೋಮಿ ಮೇ ಅವರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಬಿ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ ಬಿ ಅವ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ in order for such unity to form i offer a common prayer next samani va akuti hi samana hridayani vah 
सामनमस्तु मनो यथावसुसाहसी मे अवर इंटेंशन एंड एस्पिशन बी अलाइक सो दट ए कॉमन ऑब्जेक्टिव यूनिफाइस ऑल ओम शांति 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 Mahalaya Mahavasya today very sacred day very auspicious day the descent of the divine mother durga to the bhuloka that is our heart and also our own homes year after year we observe this and on this day one of the direct disciples of sri ramakrishna known as swami akhandanand ji was born mahalaya mahavasya tithi the pitru paksha ends today the devi paksha starts today commences today that is why according to the tradition they offer oblations to the pitrus forefathers and at the same time the descent of the divine mother is very joyful after one full year and we have to concentrate more and more and more on the presence of the divine mother and see the divine mother durga in our self in our heart and in the whole society that is real bhakti mother in everybody that is what we learn from shri ramakrishna we learn from the great acharyas that will make our life blessed make our life fulfilled so when we are carrying on this series of talks weekly classes on the story of ramakrishna mission it is expected that all of you will be regular to that classes physically local people so that uh, more and more knowledge more and more inspiration guidance will be there to conduct ourselves in the line of ramakrishna math teachings ramakrishna mission teachings otherwise it is just another uh, visit to ramakrishna math that's all we don't become participants what we expect what sri ramakrishna expects is active participation not silent spectators somebody is doing then i sit outside and clap and appreciate that is not what is required we need to be very very clear what is my role in this ramakrishna sangha have i just taken tourist visa am i coming just because i am going this side is there any purpose of these direct disciples who are born and whose celebration we think uh, year after year how many durga pujas we have celebrated we have observed how many navratris how many ganesh chaturthis if your age is 19 19 times if your age is 25 25 times 25 years 30 years durga puja or any other celebration but what are we what have i achieved is the question mark that is called swadhyaya self analysis self understanding self introspection kato upanishad says as soon as you get up in the morning shreyas cha preyas cha manushya metah tau samparityo vivinakti dhirah श्रेयो हि धीरो भि प्रेयसो वृणीते प्रेयो मंदो योगक्षेमा वृणीते ओम इत्येतत शॉर्ट साइटेड पीपल फॉलो द पाथ ऑफ प्लेजेंट श्रेयस एंड प्रेयस श्रेयस इज स्पिरिचुअल प्रेयस इज प्लेजेंट कंफर्टेबल 
యోగక్షేమ ఈటింగ్ స్లీపింగ్ డ్రెస్సింగ్ వాకింగ్ టాకింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ సమ్ ఎంటర్టైన్మెంట్ దట్ ఈస్ ప్లెజెంట్ ఫిజికల్ కంఫర్ట్ సో షార్ట్ సైటెడ్ పీపుల్ టేక్ ఓన్లీ ప్రేయస్ ద డీప్ సైటెడ్ పీపుల్ టేక్ అప్ శ్రేయస్ హౌ డూ దే టేక్ అప్ దాట్ బుద్ధి వివేకం విచారం you mix sand with sugar sand with sugar keep it on your table after half an hour without any message hundred ants will be there inside from where did they come did you make any advertisement did you send any message nature brings them nature brings them of the fragrance of sugar sweetness somewhere it spreads you and i won't know and these ants when the cup is mixed with sugar and sand the ants have got such fineness such buddhi called discrimination they take only the sugar leave the sand to you you enjoy nature is the best teacher viveka buddhi they take only the sugar that is the highest level in great saints great sages the path of the highest good is very rough and steep that is why they succeed meditation bhajana sadhana all these things that we have got is swimming against the current in spiritual life swimming against the current one way current is flowing godavari krishnamma gangamma kaveri narmada tungabhadra what force they are flowing in one way the small fish pus they get carried away no strength they no strength but the big fish they challenge nature if the water is flowing from the left to the right they swim to the left they go up the current you watch carefully the wa- river that is their challenge that is meditation that is swami akhandananda ji that is the story of ramakrishna mission monks swimming against the current another example is given climbing against gravitation unnata shikara no oxygen no shelter but mount everest mount everest is calling them himalayas is calling them challenging them climb me they go trekking they go with all that equipment they go one wrong step 5000 feet you will fall climbing against gravitation they are not going to stay there even 10 minutes they are not going to have coffee there but they reach that 10 minutes for that so much sadhana so much of practice is it a joke that is swami akhandananda ji who did this challenged the nature went up to tibet at that time kedar badri today you go by car you should, within 3 4 days you finish your yatra and come that was only walking 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 no facilities from childhood he developed that himalayan spirit climbing up the highest for that he did ground work so much of preparation yama niyama ahimsa satya asteya brahmacharya aparigraha shaucha santosha swadhyaya tapas ishvara pranidhana no compromise from childhood swami vivekananda liked him very much 
those who have read the detailed biography will understand how swami ji used to write letters from america my ganges my dear ganges my dear ganges what prema what affection what love he had on ganges said my ganges you are the only one who understood my heart he says inspiring letters so we should all become part of that game we should not stand outside and say akandan ji is great <laughs> vekanda is greater evari kavale asodi evari kavale me ok pokadal can you join the team break your leg doesn't matter god will take care so that is the story of ramakrishna mission can you plunge inside the ganga so vivekananda had four uh, questions for any disciple standing on the bank of ganga in belumat he used to ask can you jump into the ganga this moment and catch the crocodile by its mouth and give me as guru dakshina do you have the satta do you have the will power if yes come join my rank join my army if not go and eat pappu develop your strength second question he used to put second condition sharat i will sell you now i will sell you to the tea gardens in assam and with that money i will serve the santals of belurma tribes of belurma the workers of belurma in the belur area are you ready to be sold there see what guru is asking he is not asking artipandu or apple he is asking your life jo sir sardar hai wo sirdar hai jo sirdar sir dena padega wo sardar hota hai swami premanand ji used to tell a story he used to tell an example somebody was selling something in the road and uh, he says beautiful things are there beautiful things are there in my basket come and take he said what is the price if somebody asks very costly and very simple what is that you have to give your head that is the cost <laughs> and somebody proved why your head i am not asking your physical head i am asking your ego if you give your ego i will give you this anandam my basket contains anandam you have to give up something to get something so all the direct disciples each is a brahmanda each can rule the universe consisting of galaxies planets stars nebulae millions of things are there each can do that each had that power each was a shakti of shri ramakrishna akananji himself says i was extremely orthodox in my young age i was developing my character i was making it strong for example i used to bathe four times a day in the ganga without applying any oil to my body i cooked my own food i used to practice pranayama both morning and evening in spiritual discipline i increased the volume of pranayama so much that my body began to perspire and shiver i practiced kumbhaka by diving into the ganges and grabbing a stone i was fascinated by this play with the prana it was a game for them it was a play for them it was a joy for them tremendous will power tremendous uh, challenging power akhanda anand ji then uh, his fascination you see childhood fascination when you see great people you should see their upbringing by their parents and by their circumstances by their samskaras he said he was fascinated by the mendicants and by the stories of the himalayas and the other tirtha kshetras so he made up his mind one day i will go into the himalayas i'll spend lot of time 
and uh, when gangadhar was 12 he had the sacred thread ceremony he repeated the gayatri mantram three times a day he himself was like an artist used to make a image of shiva and meditate for a long time before that seeing his spiritual tendencies going that side his mother said kalyanam pelli chesedam this is not a today's problem that time problem also tandaraga chesesthe ramakrishna mata ki validated mother thought he heard discussion going on see the boldness see the conviction he told mother please marry me quickly so that another mother can come to my house his mother was shocked <laughs> and she left that idea of getting him married see the attitude how he developed that will power another mother she will help you in cooking and other household work gangadhar's mother gangadhar means swami akandanand ji his childhood name gangadhar gatak that's why swami said you are my ganges ganga after that she never pestered him about getting married first time gangadhar future swami akhandan ji met sri ramakrishna at dakshineshwar in 1883 may 1883 first visit very first visit sri ramakrishna's attitude sri ramakrishna's bhava sri ramakrishna's expression sri ramakrishna's love gangadhar felt like coming again and again again and again to sri ramakrishna that's how the connection between the guru and the shishya developed so many things he learnt at the feet of his master and uh, from the way to sit in meditation till realizing god sri ramakrishna took them by the hand towards the highest experiences but the manav prayatna also is important no miracles no magic manav prayatna daivi kripa manav prayatna guru kripa your effort just one step at least last sunday was mentioning sri ramakrishna complained to the divine mother i have cooked the food i have kept it on the table but these fellows don't put stretch their hand and take it sri ramakrishna felt i have done everything but you stretch your hand and take and you expect me to keep it in your mouth where is your effort so gangadhar maharaj gangadhar gatak ganges did his effort see so he says once i spent a night at dakshineshwar with several other disciples and the master had us all sit for meditation while communing with our chosen deity we often laughed and wept in ecstasy the pure joy we experienced in those boyhood days cannot be expressed in words whenever i approach the master he would invariably ask me did you shed tears at the time of prayer or meditation and one day when i answered yes to this how happy he was sometimes we have to cry sometimes we have to break our head to experience the joy experience that nityotsavam that is the prayatna there is water in the reservoir according to patanjali yoga sutras here is your farm here is your land you have tilled the land you have plowed the land you have made it ready for sowing the seeds but in the dry land you cannot sow the seeds it will be waste so what does the farmer do he allows little water from the reservoir to the field and he has to dig a canal olden times story he dug he digs the canal and it is connected with the reservoir second step is done but the water is not flowing to the reservoir to the field because there is a wall there is a gate obstructing the flow of the water just because water is there you, you cannot expect magic 
So this farmer has to open the gate. That is his prayatnam. Water is there always. But there is an obstruction also. So if it is a mechanical gate, he has to open. If it is an electric gate, put on the switch. 1 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch, as the gate is opening, vertical or horizontal, water flows to the field. Whole night it flows. The soil has become soft. Then in the soft soil you can sow the seeds. Swami Vivekananda writes the commentary to that sutra and says, Is the farmer pushing the water? No. Is he pulling the water? No. What did he do? He removed the obstruction. Water flows because of gravitation naturally. Similarly, the grace of God is always there, but it, you are obstructing it by your ahankara, by kamakrodha, by acquiring more and more desires, your field is dry. Field is pre- you have done the work, but not completed the work. All these direct disciples, Akandanji and others, did that, removed the obstruction. By coming to Sri Ramakrishna on a Sunday, by coming to Sri Ramakrishna on a holiday, or whenever there was no college or school, obstructions were removed. Like what? One morning Sri Ramakrishna took me to the Kali temple, his own words. Whenever I went alone, I stood outside, but on this occasion the master took me into the sanctum, sanctorum, into the Garbha Mandira of Kali temple Dakshineshwar and showed me the face of Lord Shiva who was of course lying on his back while Kali stood over him. His face was not visible from outside the shrine where one could only see the top of his head. The master said, Look, here is the living Shiva. Sri Ramakrishna's blessing. Here is the living Shiva. And by that word, what did Akhandanji say? I felt that Lord Shiva was conscious and breathing. I was astonished. How potent were the master's words? Up to the time I had thought that image was just like the other Shiva images I have seen. Just the stone image or the clay image. But Sri Ramakrishna made him see the living Shiva, Shiva consciousness. She removed the obstructions. For Sri Ramakrishna, everything is mother. Everything is Parabrahman, everything is Shakti. But that day he made Akhandanji realize he is Ishta Devata. So, I cannot describe the details of the day, the joy the master poured into my heart cannot be communicated. After evening, after coming down from Samadhi, the master sang many songs in an ecstatic mood. So what was the master doing, Sri Ramakrishna doing to Akhandanandaji and others? Removing the obstructions. Why is the Guru doing so much for the Shishya? Because of Sharanagati. Surrender. Faith. Shastreshu, Guru Vakyeshu, Vishwasu Shraddha. Have faith in the words of the Guru in the scriptures. Sometimes blind faith also is okay. Childlike faith. Blind faith may not be a good word. Childlike faith. Bala Avastha, Bala Shraddha. That will take you to the highest. Anandam, highest granam. So, Akhandanandaji's unique life. And he continues his uh, inspiration, his Vyakula Tata to, to, to go to the Himalayas, to visit the pilgrimage centers there. So, his father gave his consent in February 1887. Gangadhar took the ochre cloth that the master had given to him 
and left the monastery without telling anyone. Monastery here is the Baranagar monastery. All these disciples were there. Sri Ramakrishna had already given the ochre cloth to Gangadhar in Kashipur. That he put it on. And he, father gave him permission. Great blessing. Father took him to the Haura railway station, put him in the train and blessed him. Go, my son, go, my son. Fulfill your mission in life. The world is unreal. I bless you. May you attain unflinching devotion to God. Tandrigari Ashirvadam. Samskaras. How they instill. Wonderful story. Then that is how Gangadhar walks into the Himalayas. And once he saw that, no looking back, first he went to Varanasi. There he met the great saints, Thailanga Swami, Bhaskarananda. The power of sight which I would use for attaining knowledge by reading books. Please turn it inward so that I can experience the Atman. Swami Bhaskarananda marveled at him and remarked, I see you are already a yogi. Holy Mother met Bhaskaranji. Other disciples met Bhaskarananda Swami, one of the greatest living saints at that time in Benares. Zale sleeping on the sand of Mother Ganga, thinking of the Parabrahman, Paramatman. Swakandanji so prayed, from childhood I have been reading, I have been doing sadhana, I have been doing japa, outside, 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 please bless me so that avrutta chakshuhu amritatva michan, so that the chakshu power to see will go inside and I will attain the highest, I will see the Atman. So that is how we have to pray, they are all teaching us. The entire stories of Swami Akhandanji, the incidents, so vast, so deep. Here in a few important ones we can narrate. But I wish you people, devotees, will take that reading seriously. Read the life of Swami Akhandanji. Separate book is there. And there is another book written by his disciples who saw him, who lived with him, who learned from him. The title of the book is Swami Akhandananda as we saw him. Pratyaksha Pramanam, their expressions, their experiences worth reading. Then two beautiful books. One is called From Holy Wanderings to the Service of God in Man. His wanderings from the day he left Haura Railway Station, all through the India, how he walked, then how his mind turned with the blessings of Swamiji and his master Sri Ramakrishna to the service of man in Murshidabad, in West Bengal, 200 miles away from Kolkata. Most backward area, famine struck area, poor area. His pilgrimage took him there and he lived there for many, many years, even as the president of the order. He was the third president of the order. Sangha Guru, first was Swami Brahmanandaji, second was Swami Shivanandaji, third was Swami Akhandanandaji, though for a short time. Most of the time, Sargachi. Beautiful center, his bedroom, his things and everything are there in preserved in Sargachi. His favorite place. Why? Shivagnane Jiva Seva. He saw literally Shiva in the people. It started with a small eight year old girl, Muslim girl, who was crying and crying and crying. With a small broken pot at her leg, feet of her legs. At the, at her legs. Then he went and asked Betty, why are you crying so much? So, Baba, kya bolo? This is the only earthen pot in our house. Small pot. My mother asked me to bring water, but it slipped and fell down. It broke into pieces. Now I am afraid to go to my house. She will beat me and kill me also. Nothing else in the house. Only one pot. So, Kandanji purchased one small pot for three paisa or four paisa. And along with that, some marmaralu, murmura, moody. And gave it to her. And she was so happy, so happy. And by the time she reached his home, there were 25 people surrounding Akhanda Anandaji asking, Baba, 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 give me something to eat, give me something to eat. All were half naked, some without a dress also. 
he was shocked whatever paisa he had he purchased modi then he asked why so many poor people are there why they are so sick and that shop owner said baba kya bolu saab jagah par anavrishti famine in west bengal that one incident changed his life no looking back no himalayas no other meditation that became his seva kandanji in the ramakrishna order is known for his first relief operations of five paisa buying a pot for a poor girl and that became a big fire in swami vivekananda's heart and he started writing inspiring letters from america to akhandananda ji guiding him encouraging him sending him a small donation of 400 500 rupees and today in sargachi we have got village development self empowerment um, women's empowerment palli mangal it is called palli mangal started by swami veeshwara anand ji in jarambati it is there in kamarpukur it is there so that the village ladies village children will have self sufficiency self reliance and sargachi also has got palli mangal look at the word palli mangal in hyderabad we have got gramashri taking welfare to the villages so in that way akhandanand ji becomes a big messiah of service so the spirit of service was ingrained in gangadhar's nature while on a way to yamunotri he came across a sick monk with another person's help he carried a monk to the nearest village but could not save his life another time in a cave at gangotri he found a brahmin who had been starving for two days while fulfilling fulfilling a vow to continually recite the gayatri mantram gangadhar immediately begged food for some pilgrims and gave it to the brahmin so slowly that seva bhava he was seeing the suffering and seeing the poverty and misery of the people wherever he went and he spent time like that seeing shiva seeing the divine mother durga in them but you see when you have a higher purpose a higher shraddha in the divine it is not just a uh, oral talk the deep ingrainment of shraddha what happens swargadwaram apavrutam krishna says the gates of heaven will open mother will protect you that shraddha we should cultivate we should pray for that protection and in a very 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 difficult place in the himalayas called chandravadani hill which was sacred to the divine mother gangadhar lost his way he closed his eyes and sat for meditation in the forest then you know he later wrote he writes in that book holy wanderings i got up and saying victory to the master jai ramakrishna i moved forward without caring for any direction it was almost impossible to stop my motion down the steep hill i grabbed hold of shrubs and trees my feet slipped and at last i tumbled down into a corn field two hill men were roasting sheaves of wheat for food seeing me they were taken aback and said how is it possible where did you come from who led you here no human being has ever come down this way on hearing that i had come from the temple of goddess chandravadani they said the mother must have held you by the hand and brought you here i had actually felt see his pramanam i had actually felt that someone led me there by the hand i had slipped down as much as 2 miles they could not believe many many incidents like this many incidents whether in in the wandering days going all over the north india south india and western part of india so that guru bhakti that surrender to the guru and vishwasam akhanda vishwasam in the divine mother is what we have to think we have to learn from this people we have to practice it durlabham trayamai vaita devanugra hetukam manushyatva mumukshutva mahapurusha samshaya shankaracharya 
In the third shloka, the Vek Chodamani writes, three things are very rare to get. If you have got it, Daivanugraham. What is that first one? Manushyatva. The very fact you are born as a human being after millions of years of evolution on this planet is a great blessing. We are all in cannibal state. We are all in the animal state. Pashutvam. From there, the mind evolved into Manushyatva. Crawling on four legs. Then upright, the bone became, backbone became straight. So Manushyatvam came. And having got this Manushyatvam, Shankaracharya say the second quality also is, imp- is a blessing. What is that? Mumukshutvam. The aspiration, the Vyakulata to be free. Free, free, free. Azad, azad, azad. Freedom is the birth of right of my soul. Swamiji writes, freedom is the song of my soul. Nirgachanti jagat jala pinjara diva kesari. Like a lion which breaks the cage in which it is caught. Similarly, jagat jala, the net of this world, the maya of this world is cut. Is shattered as it were by the sadaka. That is mumukshu, moksham icha. That is real Durga Puja. That is real Navaratri. People convert it into a social, uh, area, what you call, uh, participation. Social, sociology of religion. But the very purpose of the Divine Mother is the Mahisha in, our, in us. The evil in us should be killed, should be destroyed. Grace of the Divine Mother Durga. So this is the purpose of this great leader, great saints. You see then, uh, Gangadhar learnt, he wanted to visit Tibet also, some painful incidents, where he was caught by the Lamas, he was arrested by the police, thinking that he is a spy of the Brit- against the British. But again, God's grace, Guru's grace, saved him from that dangerous situation. And since he had that experience of going deep into the Himalayas, Swami Vivekananda followed him also. Holy Mother sent Gangadhar along with Swami Vivekananda. That's a very wonderful relationship between Gangadhar and Swami Vivekananda. When Swami Vivekananda said to Holy Mother, taking her blessings that he will go into the Himalayas and plunge in meditation and if he doesn't realize God, he will not come back. He told directly to Holy Mother. She was in tears. Mother said, no, Baba, don't tell like that. I cannot bear my master's children leaving me. But Swamiji took her blessings and started. But she called Gangadhar quietly and said, Take care of Naren. Holy Mother's concern. Take care of Naren. Give him timely food. You know the path, you know the difficulties. Naren was happy that he has got some assistant for Bhiksha, he need not worry. And both Gangadhar and Naren go up the hills. Many times Gangadhar Maharaj goes to the villages for begging food and here his Nayaka, his leader Narendra is meditating. And that famous incident is there when Swamiji is meditating in Almora, Kakri Ghat. And uh, when Akhandanji came back from the village begging food, Swamiji was deep in meditation and tears rolling down his eyes in joy. Gangadhar said, Kya hua? Why so much of Anandam? <laughs> then Gangadhar, Swamiji replied, Ganges, for the last 14 years I was struggling for one truth. And under this tree I experienced the truth. What is that brother? That secret? The macrocosm and the microcosm are working on the same plane. In, under this tree I found out the truth in meditation. The macrocosm and the microcosm, the Brahmanda and the Pindanda are working on the same plan. Deep inner quantum physics. What is there in the Brahmanda as consciousness is there in the Pindanda in your body, in my body. But unfortunately we look only the outside body. <laughs> and this experience which Swamiji got in Kakri Ghat, he got an opportunity to elaborate it in two beautiful talks scientific talks in London called the Cosmos. 
Swamiji's brilliant lecture. His experience he put it there. One is he bifurcated it, first microcosm one day and he spoke on the macrocosm the other day. Please read that. Then you understand what today after 100 years or 125 years the science is coming to is becoming so impactful. Already the rishis had experienced. So, Nasadiya Sukta mentions all these truths. The Swamiji's relationship with Gangadhar became more intense after those experiences. Swamiji affectionately called him Ganges and sometimes Ice Father, Baraf Baba. Gangadhar's name, Baraf Baba. Why? <laughs> his skin had been burnt with cold because of his travels in the Himalayas. It had become dry. They called Baraf Baba. And as, along with that, there is beautiful incidents. We are not going into details. And when Swamiji said, don't come with me. I want to be alone in walking and meditating and learning our, about our culture. Gangadhar said, even if you go to Patala Loka, I will trace you out. Swami said, let me see. And that journey, can you imagine how Swamiji moved and within two days, within three days, within one day, he missed Swamiji and that took six months for him to Tack, tack him down. Gangadhar said, you, I told you, I will not leave you, even if you go to Pathala. <laughs> but Swamiji was very strict, this is enough, this game is enough, no more from here. He said, okay, Baba, <laughs> I will obey you. Then Swamiji went away, afterwards, no looking back, they, he went away to the America, etc. Then Gangadhar Maharaj comes back and that is how their life continues. And uh, what happened? Uh, Gangadhar Maharaj Akhandhanandaji saw the poverty in Rajasthan, poverty in Uttar Pradesh, poverty in Madhya Pradesh, Bundelkhand and other areas. Then he talks with the Maharaja. What are you doing? Your own people, you are not allowing them to see you. They are paying tax for you. You are only enjoying in the palace and they are without food. Do something. And he writes a letter. To Swamiji in, and Swamiji replies in 1894 as early as 1894 Swamiji says here you see my dear Akhandananda I am very glad to receive your letter it is a great pleasure to me to learn that you have regained your health to a great extent by your state Ketri Rajasthan try to develop spirituality and philanthropy amongst the Thakurs in the different places of Rajputana we must work and this cannot be done by merely sitting idle. Make a trip now and then to Alisar and all the other Sars that are there and carefully learn Sanskrit and English. Go from, uh, see the main action plan Swamiji is writing from America to India to Gangadhar, my dear Ganges. He says, go from door to door amongst the poor and lower classes of the town of Khetri and teach them religion. Also, let them have oral lessons of geography and such other subjects. No good will come of sitting idle and having princely dishes and saying, Oh Ramakrishna, my Lord, unless you can do some good to the poor. Go to other villages from time to time and teach the people the arts of life as well as religion. Work, worship and gnana. First work and your mind will be purified. Otherwise, everything will be fruitless, like pouring oblations on a pile of ashes instead of in, in, the, sacri, in the sacred fire. When Gunanidhi comes, move from door to door of the poor and the destitute in every village of Rajputana. If people object to the kind of food you take, give it up immediately. The Giruva robe is not for enjoyment. It is the banner of heroic work. You must give your body mind and speech to the welfare of the world. You have read Matru Devo Bhava, Pitru Devo Bhava, look upon your mother as God, look upon your father as God, but I say Daridra Devo Bhava, Murka Devo Bhava, Rogi Devo Bhava, the poor, the illiterate, the ignorant, the afflicted, let these be your God. Know that service to these alone is the highest religion ever yours with blessings, Vivekananda, the first letter. And there are four or five letters later on. How he guides Swami Akhandanji to this service in Rajputana. And Akhandanji, fearless that he was, somebody told 
Swami, you are talking too much. The Raja will finish you. He will put you into prison. That was the difficult times. So then he says, Akhandananda had wanted to lead an austere and contemplative life, but divine providence ordained that under his monastic garb, he would become a patriot, he would become a statesman, and he would become a philanthropist. So he was a great organizer. While in Bengal, he met many pundits, educators, political leaders, consulted them about starting a Vedic school. And when Vivekananda returned from the West, Akhandananda worked hard to arrange a reception for him. Then Murshidabad Leela starts, the last chapter of his life. Sarvi, Sarvi, Sarvi. Early morning, I washed my hand and feet in the Ganges and was approaching the bazaar when I discovered a girl clad in dirty rags, weeping bitterly. She held her waist and ardhan pitcher, the bottom which had given way. When the Swami inquired, Father, there is a famine and we have nothing at home to eat. At home we have only the pitcher for carrying water and two ardhan pots. There is no second vessel. My mother will beat me. So I am crying out of fear. Akhandanda happened to have four anas in his pocket. He purchased a pitcher, gave some puffed rice and by that time he saw hundreds of people coming. Then he said, Father, one lady is dying. He got suddenly news in the village. Please come, do something for her. He went to see this old woman who was suffering from diarrhea and covered whole body was covered with filth. To save her life, the Swami rushed. One of the landlord of the village and arranged daily food. He even begged a piece of cloth from a clerk. Father, you must have been my son in my previous life. Nobody is taking care of me. Akhandananda replied, Why your previous life? I am your son in this life itself. See, what heart and what thinking and this one, they, these direct disciples have shown us the way, how to do seva, how to look upon God in that poor man. So that is a great lesson that all of us learn. Akhandanji writes, I carried a picture of Sri Ramakrishna with me. Every day after my bath in the Ganges, I would offer some flowers before it and pray to the master with tears for the famine-stricken people. Thus I prayed every morning and evening. One day there was a response. I heard the master's voice, wait and see what happens. So like that, Akhandanji's seva continued. And uh, whenever... Two prayers he used to, it seems, he used to repeat. He collected some orphan boys, those famine stricken boys, he used to bathe them as if he is doing Abhishekam to Shiva. He used to chant the Purusha Suktam, he used to chant the Rudra and making, pouring water on their head, because Shiva Puja. And always he used to pray to Sri Ramakrishna, pray to Swamiji, Ranti Deva in the Bhagavatam prayed. Natvaham kamaye rajyam nasvargam napunarbhavam kamaye dukhataptanam praninam artinashanam My only prayer is remove the miseries of the people. Praninam artinashanam If that goes, I am the most happy. I am not asking grajya, punya, moksha, everything. I am asking this. Ranti Deva's prayer, Akhandanji's prayer. So in that way, becoming the president and other things, wonderful stories, incidents are there. Please read, that is your responsibility. So we pray to Mother Durga from tomorrow Navaratri starts. May the Divine Mother Durga bless all of us, your family and the whole society, city, state with Nana Bhakti Viveka Vairagyam and Prashantata. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Sri Rama Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Durga Jai Durga Jai Durga.
शम तस्मे शरण मम दे बंधो कृत्यम करो कलुषम कुहका कारे स्नात शिव सुविमल तव नाथ यस्मादह शरणो जगदे गम्यामे शरण मम दे
पटावृते नित्यम् शारदे ज्ञानदायिके पापे भ्यो न सदारक्ष कृपामयि नमोस्तुते राम कृष्ण गत प्राणाम तन्नाम शेवन प्रियाम तद्भावरंजिताकाराम प्रणमामि मुहुर मुहुम पवित्रम् चरितम् यस्याह पवित्रम् जीवनम् तथा पवित्रता स्वरूपिन्ये तस्ये कुर्मो नमो नमः देवीं प्रसन्नाम प्रणताति हंत्रिं योगिन्द्र पूज्याम युगधर्मापात्रिं तामशारदाम भक्ति विज्ञान दात्रे गया स्वरूपाम प्रणमामिनित्यम् सेहे नवदनासि मनोस्मरियम् दोषानशेषान सर्वनी करो 
ಕ್ರೋಶೆ ಆಹೆ ತು ನಾನೋ ದಯಸೆ ಸದೋಷ ಸ್ವಾಂಕೆ ಜನನೀಂ ಶಾರದೇ ರಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಪಾದಪದ್ಮೆ ತೃತ್ವಾ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುಹುರ್ಮುಹ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುಹುರ್ಮುಹ ನೈನ್ ರೆಂಡು ತೊಮ್ಮಿದಿ ತಾಥಯ್ಯ ತಾಥಯ್ಯ ನಾಚೆ ಭೋಲಾ ತಾಥಯ್ಯ ತಾಥಯ್ಯ ನಾಚೆ ಭೋಲಾ ತಾಥಯ್ಯ ತಾಥಯ್ಯ ನಾಚೆ ಭೋಲಾ ತಾಥಯ್ಯ ತಾಥಯ್ಯ ನಾಚೆ ಭೋಲಾ ಬಾಜೆ ಗಾ ಬಂ 
धक 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 मौले बंद धक 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 मौले बंद धक 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 मौले बंद धक 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 मौले बंद ज्वले शशांक भार ज्वले शशांक नाचे भोला नाचे भोला नाचे भोला नाचे भोला गरज गंगा जटा माझे उगरे अनल त्रिशूल राज गरज गंगा जटा माझे उगरे अनल धक 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 मौली बंद धक 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 मौली बंद 
धक मौली बंद धक 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 मौली बंद ज्वले शशांक बाल ज्वले शशांक बाल ज्वले शशांक बाल ज्वले शशांक बाल तात्या तात्या नाचे भोला 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 पेज सिक्स टू आर रे जय देवी दुर्गा गौरी शंकर पार्वती जय देवी दुर्गा गौरी शंकर पार्वती जय देवी दुर्गा गौरी शंकर पार्वती जय देवी दुर्गा गौरी शंकर Om Savahini Vee 
పేజ్ టూ జీరో జీరో రెండు సున్నా సున్నా జయ జయ రామకృష్ణ భువన మంగళ జయ జయ రామకృష్ణ భువన మంగళ జయ మాత శ్యామ సూత అతి నిరమల జయ మాత శ్యామ సూత అతి ధర ధీరా జీవే శ్రీవాస 
Shyamasudatini Ramala 
యాభై ఒకటి ఫైవ్ వన్ శృతీనామే సువేదాగమృతి నామే సువేదాగమ పాహి భద్రే వారణ్య 
नमस्ते भवानी नमस्ते 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 भवानी नमस्ते 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 भवानी नमस्ते 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 याबाई एन में दी फाइव एट काली काली बोलो रोशना काली काली बोलो रोशना काली काली बोलो रोशना काली काली बोलो रोशना Oh 
Shakti Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Om 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 Shakti Next Saturday, 1st October onwards, five days Shri Shri Durga Puja will be celebrated in the Mat premises in a grand manner. Full details of the program are available on the flex notice board in front of the temple. All the devotees can participate in all the programs and obtain the grace of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. Oche Shinivaram, October October Tedi Nundi. I drew a part to Matalo, Shri Shri Durga Puja, Vaibhanga Nivencha Bartundi, E. Karakamanik Samaninchina, Puti Vivralu, Devale Munduna, Flex Notice Board by Unai, Bakhtulu, Anikarakma Lopalgoni, Bhagavan Sri Ramakshna Krupaku, Patru calls in the Vignapti. After Jaykaram to Holy Trio and Swami Akhandanji, Revered Adjakshi Maharaj will meet the devotees in the temple basement hall. All the devotees can offer the pranams. Mutitayaniki, Akhananda Maharaj ki JJ Dvanal Chepintravata, Puja Jaksha Maharaj, Devala Indigo Hallo Samavesh Mataru, Bhaktulu Pranamala Pinchoch. Jai Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna Devaki Jai Jai Sri Sharada Maiki Jai Jai Swami Vivekananda Maharaji Ki Jai Jai Swami Akhandananda Maharaji Ki Jai 